the first thing that I would say to answer that question would be, we haven't really had a lot of mass hysteria um, at least on our end, um, from our parents or our students, everyone's been very supportive, very positive and understanding during this time, um, which we appreciate. Uh, we did have a lot of concerned parents, even prior to spring break. We had some parents who reached out just, you know, wanting to see what the schools were doing in order to keep the students and the staff members safe um, and healthy uh, regarding this virus. So first and foremost, if you have um, a lack of resources in terms of internet connection or possibly a connected device like a laptop, Chromebook, any of those things to do your work, we are providing that for you. All you need to do is email Mr. Deuce, our principal, and he'll get you set up so you can have that need being met. We also have arranged for um, students who receive free and reduced lunch to have the ability to go to five middle schools across Frisco ISD to be able to collect um, a lunch and a breakfast for that. That particular day. That service is offered every single day from 1130 to 1230. Um, all you need to do is have your ID number um, so they can look you up in the system and they can supply you with a fresh meal that you need um, Monday through Friday. Some of the precautions that we've taken is just been following the CDC guidelines about shelter in place and not leaving the house except for when we need essential items like food. If we do have to go out and go to the grocery store, we're very diligent about having hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes whenever we're touching anything. Um, we've gotten a few extra food items just in case, especially the items that were hard to find, like some extra ground beef so we could make tacos or um, you know, chicken so we always have some of that protein at the house. As far as keeping busy, we bought some puzzles before quarantine, and so we've been doing some puzzles, and I started some books, and then we've been taking the pups on quite a few walks. So just trying to stay active and keep our spirits up. We'll have one to two assignments per week per course, and each course will give you approximately an hour and a half to two hours worth of work to complete in a week. It will be due on Sunday nights at 11.59 p.m. And then retesting will work much in the same way as it always has, where if you've made below an 85 on something, you'll either have the opportunity to reassess those skills for up to an 85, or that assignment will be something that's eligible to be waterfalled, like we've done in the past, where um, a more recent evidence of mastery would go replace a, an older grade. The biggest concern in making the decision to cancel school um, was obviously the public health issue that's going on. We want everybody in our community and in the United States and the world to get better. And that obviously can't happen if we're going to be in crowded public spaces together. When the school district made this decision, several things were taken into account, um, including the effect on our students. And we wanna make sure that students continue to learn so that you can progress and graduate on time and be prepared for whatever is um, life is gonna be after high school, as well as the social and emotional well-being of our students. Um, we know our students, whether they're in kindergarten or in 12th grade, are um, social people and want to be around other people um, and taking away those interactions. But then also uh, the more emotional and um, basic needs. There are students who come and who depend upon food at school. And uh, so the district put lots of infrastructure and processes in place, including um, those with food, internet services, and things like that to be able to support students during this time of closure. So the second question that I received was regarding alternatives to e-learning and if there are any alternatives to the e-learning process. And um, unfortunately, my answer to that would be no. Um, I think right now the other alternative to e-learning would be to do nothing, and that would not be in the best interest of our students. Um, we want to make sure that while we understand we cannot teach and cover everything that we were planning on um, covering the, for the rest of this spring semester. Um, we also understand that we want our students to be as prepared as possible for that next level, whether it being going to college or heading off to that next grade level. We want you to have those essential skills you will need to be successful. So that's what this e-learning process really does, is it covers those essential skills 
and make sure that our students have that exposure so they can be more successful when they go into that next grade level. Instead of doing major and minor grade categories, from now on we'll do one category, which is called e-learning. So every assignment will have equal weight into the grade book. One exception to that is a teacher may enter a grade with no score. You may see a CNS or an INS, complete no score or incomplete no score, if a teacher is just trying to track progress without assigning a grade to it. But graded assignments will just have an equal weighting, like I said, all within that e-learning category. Stephen asks, uh, you know, what are LT's plans for the future of e-learning? Um, you know, we don't have a great answer for that right now. I know that the district pushed out this year a program called Rail, Reaching All Innovative Learners, where students were able to take courses uh, online that were traditionally found inside the brick and mortar inside our classrooms. And so we're now going to leverage our experiences with e-learning during this pandemic and build upon our experiences that we've had this year with Rail and see what kind of course offerings we can provide. At LT, we pride ourselves on being a world-class high school. And so we're gonna keep our eyes open to see what this can mean for our students because we wanna have the best experience for our kids. And so while we don't have an answer now, we will pretty soon.